confidence is a very fragile thing. It can be easily lost, but be very hard to regain. It can act as a building block for the development of self-esteem and character. But a lack of it may cause anxiety, underperformance, and in some severe cases, even depression. Low self-confidence is something that all of us, or at least many of us, have at some point in our lifetimes struggled with. It is a topic that we can all relate to, and so hopefully this speech will hold some meaning for everyone in here. According to various sources, 85% of the world's population suffers from low self-confidence. That's around 6.8 billion people. And, and uh, until a couple of years ago, I was a part of that figure. In the words of football coach Jürgen Klopp, confidence is like a little flower. And when someone stamps on it, it is really difficult. For me, confidence has played an influential role in my life. In the early years of primary school, I was frequently teased about my weight. I was called fatty, hippo, uh, among other names. And as I'm, as I'm sure you can know, that would, that would be difficult for someone like me. It made me feel inferior to my friends. It made me feel like I was worthless and significantly hindered my ability in sports such as football. But after years of hard work and effort through physio training, cardio training, and in recent years, weight training, I have turned my fortunes upside down. I am now captain of a school football team. I am now captain of a Premier Division football club and I'm playing and living with as much confidence as ever. In the words of Michelle Obama, your success is determined by your confidence and your fortitude. And so if there was one thing I would like everyone here to take away from the speech, it is that confidence is not a burden. It is not something that should be viewed as a negative, but rather a chance to maximize your chances given to you by life and to fulfill your potential.